What's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walk of Aid. Happy Thursday. It's January 13th. How quickly this month has gone. Everything for good. God causes all things to work together for the good to those who love God or the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Very interesting. I, you know, this is something, a passage that the one thing I talk about, if the one regret I have is not understanding this passage when I was younger, and that's Romans is there a difficulty in your life that continues to persist no matter what you do? You may not understand it in that moment, and that's okay. It is not necessary that you comprehend your circumstances or why they affect you as they do. Instead, what's important is that you honor the Lord in them. During the storm, do you honor God? Do you trust Him? Question. The key to maintaining your hope as you experience adversity, is, to, is found in this one foundational truth. God is absolutely sovereign. That's Psalm. And because he is Lord over all creation, you can know for certain that he will work through everything that touches your life for your benefit. That's right, everything. Nothing gets through to you if you won't somehow refine or edify you eventually. Therefore, the wisest course of action whenever trials arise is to ask the Father, what would you have me learn? Listen to him, trust him, obey him, and endure with confidence, knowing that eventually you'll see how he's working through every detail to bless you. Father, thank you for something good is coming for from this adversity. Teach me, Lord, I'm ready to learn. Amen. In his presence, trust is a good purpose for what you're facing. Number one, do you fully trust God during a storm? Answer that question. Reflect on that, especially during this season of COVID. Or are you constantly questioning where are you, God, and all this? Why is this happening to me? It's all about me. And not actually sitting there asking, God, what would you have me learn from this experience? For me, I've grown closer to Christ because I've had more time at home. I've grown closer to my family, especially my son, which I now I see on a daily basis because I'm home a lot more. Think about that. But the one thing, too, the key to this passage, because you can't say God is in everything unless you understand it's according to his purpose. So if I'm living out of his purpose and I'm just going after what I want to feed the flesh, and then I'm questioning where is God in all of this, and you're expecting God to show up and God to intervene, he's not going to because you missed the key components according to his purpose, not mine. So if I'm trying to make things happen and force that door open, and I'm saying, God, where are you? Like as if he's WD-40 and he doesn't come and then I question him, I've gotten it all wrong, but then I'm questioning and I'm upset and I'm concerned and I'm, I'm mad, right? In actuality, I'm mad because God has not shown himself to be true. But I missed that point. So if I would have learned this from the beginning as a kid growing up, and it's never too late to learn that it's according to his purpose, his plan, not mine. I can't manipulate God. I can't make deals with God. But that's what we do all the time. And then we expect God to sort of come through. And then we blame it on the enemy. We blame it on society. We blame it on circumstances. We're blaming it on so many people when we miss that key part. It's according to his plan, not mine. Until next time, always remember, you're the built-in spine evangelist. Your words and actions, God bless you. Follow me on YouTube for Minute Motivations.